<laughs> I've made friends with the uh, with the pup dog. I am hung like a donkey. <laughs> I give up. I'm useless at this. Hey team, happy Monday. I've just started the vlog and ended it at the same point because um, I forgot to write off last night. How are you this week? I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog. I'm just about to go and edit that now. I had a nice lazy morning this morning because I was working all day yesterday in London uh, for Bumble stuff, for Bumble Summit. So um, yeah, I had the morning off, which was very pleasant. And uh, now I'm gonna crack on with some work for today. Tomorrow I've got my hair cut. Might be going to another quiz, uh, not hair cut, hair dye. Uh, might be going to another quiz with Lucy at some point and don't really know what I'm doing at the weekend so yeah it's gonna be a fun week I hope <laughs> come along for the ride I am having one of those days today where motivation <laughs> seems to have just buggered off and I'm really really struggling to concentrate and get stuff done and loads of little niggly things keep popping into my inbox and then I sort of get distracted doing that and then have to go back to the big tasks and it's just one of those days just one of those annoying Mondays so I'm taking the little dog out for a walk um, because the rain stopped and I thought maybe a bit of fresh air might sort of blow a few cobwebs out my head and help me get back on it but yeah I just, <laughs> just hardly got anything done today one of those days come on you let's go out for a little walk <laughs> still haven't finished this bloody vlog. I'm still going. Uh, I've had a bath and washed my hair and stuff. Even though it's really annoying so I'm having it done tomorrow but it was so greasy. I couldn't turn up at the hairdressers with it um, in the state that it was. So yeah, I haven't curled it for the first time. I've just had it straight and I quite like it but I think I prefer it before it curled. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this vlog so hopefully at some point I can get some sleep but I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning. Oh, and before anybody asks, my PJs are from Primark and they have unicorns on because I'm a high functioning, nearly 30 year old adult. Hey team, happy Tuesday. So it is officially hair day today and I'm actually going to get it done this time. Uh, very excited, very excited indeed. It's the first time I've had it straight actually. Did I tell you this last night? Can't remember. I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm gonna just jump out the door now. Uh, but yeah, I will, uh, I'll fill you in later exactly what we're gonna do. I'm thinking sort of ice white blonde at the end and then chocolatey instead of the copper because I've enjoyed the copper for a while but now I feel like it's a bit, I can have a bit of a change. I'm just getting so confident with my hair now. It's so short, I've chopped it all off. I can do a bit of experimenting. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later because I need coffee on the way so I need to get moving. <laughs> show in this light I'm gonna have to show you when I get home but I absolutely love it we've proper like toned it down so it's gone more of a, a cold ice blonde and then a gorgeous warm chocolate on the top oh it's really not showing up properly in the car I'll show you when I get home I love it and what a great little salon as well and they even have like a glass with my champagne with my name on it I feel like a proper celebrity today no I loved it absolutely loved it but now it is like half past three <laughs> I think I've been in there for hours so uh, I'm gonna head home and go and see my mucky puppy that Lucy has been uh, walking for me while I've been out. So no doubt he'll be covered in mud because <laughs> it started raining today, dreading that. Hello, you really you really still can't see my hair so I will show you properly in the morning. Um, I've just taken off all my makeup and done a face mask because my skin just feels absolutely awful at the moment. So uh, I did a little clay face mask from the body shop. They're like a Dead Sea clay one, really like it. 
Um, so my skin feels really nice, even though I look super rough. <laughs> and I'm just in my coffees watching a program on the top 100 dogs. I'm supposed to be going out for a drink tonight, but I really can't be bothered. I was up till ridiculous o'clock last night finishing the vlog. Um, and then I couldn't sleep afterwards, so I just feel knackered. I just kind of want to curl up inside. So uh, that is the plan with little Toblerone. And then in the morning, he's going for the snip. So kind of want to just give him some extra cuddles tonight because he doesn't know where he's going tomorrow. <laughs> I'll probably get questions and comments on it. Um, obviously, when you have a dog, you don't have to get them spayed or neutered. Um, but I decided to. Um, I did want to originally stud Toby because he's a really good pedigree and I may be biased but I think he's absolutely gorgeous um, but I decided not to because it's just going to be a little bit easier for me to control him especially when we're coming up to um, like the seasons and stuff because he can rack really really well off lead um, but there have been some horror stories that I've heard of dogs smelling a bitch in heat and just absolutely bolting sometimes across roads um and he has been <laughs> sort of getting a little bit amorous um with some of my blankets so yeah the vet said now is the time to do it um chat to your vet about when is the right time i think any they've said they say any time from like six months but i personally think six months is a bit young but he started to cock his leg now uh, when he goes for a wee so yeah made the decision little does he know that he's going to be coming back without his peanuts tomorrow <laughs> bless him i am a little bit worried but i'm trying not to think about it it's just a routine operation They're f it'll be fine he'll be fine but yeah it's horrible like handing him over knowing what they're going to be doing to him i'm like no my little baby it can um affect their coat turn that off uh yeah it can affect their coat once they've been done it can go a little bit thicker a little bit wirier but he's got such a lovely smooth straight silky coat that i think he'll be okay um and also they can have a tendency to put on weight as well so um just chat to your vet about everything that you need to know but it's the decision that i've made um so that's what we're gonna go with everyone says it's like responsible dog ownership to get them spayed and neutered but at the end of the day it's completely up to you and as long as you keep your in-season bitch inside when she's on it um and you're responsible keep her on the lead you know and you're responsible for that then you know it's your choice at the end of the day isn't it but best to chat to your vet don't come and ask me <laughs> i'm just doing um what i think is best for toby so there you go good morning everybody my goodness me my skin is awful life is awful no i'm kidding it's very early <laughs> and i'm taking toby to the vet to go and get his nads chopped off I uh, just had like a real kind of worry this morning. I was like, oh my God, what if he doesn't make it back? So we had just had a really nice cuddling bed. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a routine operation, nothing to worry about. But yeah, he's got no idea where he's going. We'll go get your balls chopped off, shall we? Shall we get your balls chopped off? <laughs> oh, wish him luck, everyone. Wait. Good boy. Did not like that. Poor little Toby. He was just like, why are you leaving me with this strange man? Why are you putting me in this cage? So yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, I get to phone them about two o'clock and find out how he's getting on. And if he's doing okay, then I can go and collect him then. Otherwise he might be in a little bit longer, but hopefully he'll be home later on today and it will all go without a hitch. Snip, snip, fish. <laughs> Put his balls in the basket. <laughs> so I am off clay pigeon shooting this morning. Very excited. Only ever done this once. I think I did this, uh, it was someone's birthday and I got invited along and I got to like just have a very, very quick go. Um, and I've always, I really enjoyed it and I've always wanted to do it properly. So I'm heading out to give it another go today and see how I get on. Hope I do well, get quite competitive at these kind of things. Well, I get competitive at everything, um, but I'm one of those people that feels like they need to be so good at something right from the off. Otherwise I'm just like, no, nope, don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Give up, I'm useless at this. One more go. <laughs> that one? 
I have a very grumpy doggy. Oh, that tail's wagging now. You've forgiven me yet? <laughs> have you forgiven me? Oh, you've got the cone of shame as well to wear later. Hey, how you feeling, monster? He said you did very, very well. It's just a little bit groggy. Oh, baby. Well, hopefully it will stop you from getting cancer. Hey. Don't want you getting cancer because you've got to live forever. Those are the rules, don't you know? They're the rules. Toby is feeling very sorry for himself, he keeps whimpering, so we're just having lots of cuddles on the sofa, we're drinking lots of tea, he's not drinking tea, I'm drinking lots of tea, and I'm going to crack open my uh, Christmas roses. <laughs> oh, this is actually a really accurate kind of representation of my hair colour, if you can see, let me show you, ta-da! It looks amazing, I'm so, so happy with it. It's like a really warm, kind of chocolatey on top, but then uh, we've gone through into like a nice ice kind of blonde. It's super, super subtle, which is exactly what I wanted, kind of back to more of a natural kind of colour. We did my crazy copper, <laughs> copper red, and now I've gone back to sort of, yeah, more of a natural kind of speckling of blonde throughout. So I'm really happy with it, absolutely love it, although it is a bit windswept from uh, Chloe pigeon shooting earlier so I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a run through later before we go to the pop quiz this time it's a general knowledge one um, so I don't think we're gonna do that one at this one <laughs> Harry Potter's one thing general knowledge completely different <laughs> Super quick getting ready. Uh, jumper is from New Look years ago. This skirt is from Primark, pretty recent, but I had to get it in a size 14, but I really like it, super mini. And then I'm just gonna wear my uh, suede flat knee high boots. This scarf is also from Primark, loving the autumn colors. Well, I think I might change it because it was like super hot in there last week. Very excited, very excited. So I'm gonna put the cone of shame on this little one and leave him to just chill out and sleep. I think he's probably gonna do you the world of good, matey, because you have been clinging on to me like a little limpet. And if you can't, then at least you can sleep. 10 points for the first of finger, go to. I yes. am hung like a donkey. <laughs> Get in, loser, we're going quizzing on 10. Six. <laughs> he doesn't even tell me what year it was released though. 95. 95, there we go. The fastest team getting you right is. I am hung like a donkey. Get in, loser. We're going quizzing on 10 points with 9 points to Disney. Well done, Disney. the only people answering any of these questions. Right, in, the, in second, getting a £10 voucher. It is the Whiting's on 439. Oh my god. <laughs> On 528 points, well done, what a score! Get in, loser, we're going crazy! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so, I've got your lunches here. Do you come and find me? Come to Ikea with this one today, and we're treating ourselves to... <laughs> We've got a mouthful of bacon. Treating ourselves to a little uh, cooked breakfast, because healthy. And it was like £5.50 for all of these antiques. That's how we, that's how we roll. <laughs> Like I'm back in the Argos stock room. Good old days. Oh, crashing me trolley. Oh. Well, that was a fun little trip to Ikea. Can't beat a trip to Ikea. And uh, Joe got everything she wanted. I bought a few um, little mugs because they were like one pound fifty or something. Thought they'd be nice for gin and tonics. Um, and a new plant pot because I smashed my other one. And again, they're only like a pound. And a mat to go at the back door so um, Toby can wipe his feet when he comes in and out. I've just had a parcel delivered. I opened it up and I was like, what is this? I'm not expecting anything. It's this. It says something out of this world is coming by benefit. And you open it up 
and it's literally just a countdown clock to their new product launch that I'm going to in two weeks time. Oh my god, I hope I can still go with Edi uh, with India. Yeah, I think I can. Um, yeah, first of Feb, yeah, fine. But yeah, they've got an, a launch event down in London and it's like a huge, huge event. Um, and yeah, they've literally posted this out with a countdown look and it's ticking down. <laughs> Bloody hell, their PR department has got a lot of money, but that is incredibly cool. And now I'm also really excited to find out what this new product is. So stay tuned and I shall let you know when I know. Oh, so I've just come back, but I'm gonna nip out again um, because I have developed a lovely water infection today. What's new? I thought I was getting away with them. I, ha I haven't had one for quite a while. And uh, yeah, I feel really, really run down all of a sudden. And then I was just like, oh my God, I've got one. And I've got these test strips that um, I got from Sweet Cures. You know that stuff, like Waterfall D Manos. Loads of you recommended it. I absolutely love it. I really rate it. Um, and I took so took a load of those last night because I thought, mm, I feel this coming on. Hasn't taken it away. Um, uh, but you can also buy the test strips from them. So you can test your wee and see if you have got an infection present. You know the ones that they use, like the dip test that they use at the doctors? You can buy those and have them at home. And because I'm such an old hat with water infections, I thought that would be really handy to have. Anyway, done one of those, got a water infection. So I've just used Push Doctor and got myself a prescription. I just bloody love that app. Really, I do, because I can't be asked to go to the doctors. I cannot even get in until next Tuesday, and they don't have any emergency appointments today, so I'd have to wait until 8 a.m. tomorrow to call up and get one. It's just not worth it, so push doctor to the rescue. So I'm gonna head out now and collect my prescription, and then I'm probably just gonna sit in the bath for the most of the afternoon and try and ease into things, drinking a boatload of water at the same time. So, I have an extremely exciting purchase to show you. Ta-da! <laughs> I finally got myself a drone for my travel videos. I said to myself, if I was gonna, if I got this India trip, which I've worked so hard to get a place on, um, then I would finally bite the bullet and buy a drone. So, yeah, I bought this today, and I now have two weeks to figure out how to pilot it before I go to India. No pressure. <laughs> presentable took my hair behind my ears so I can eat <laughs> I've got nothing in the house I've got no food in the house and I've just made an omelette with green pesto because they don't even have any cheese that's sad isn't it but I bet it'll be quite tasty um so I'm just gonna sit here and eat my lunch I seem to have lost so much light like the clouds have descended so um yeah I'm gonna have to crack out my new ring light before I start filming I have decided I'm not still not sure what I'm gonna do I'm either gonna do the gel removal video or I'm gonna do my um favorites video at off that thank you so whichever one I do today I'll do the other one another time so um yeah you'll get both of those but it just depends on which one I'm gonna film it just I was I don't think I'm gonna have really I'm gonna have oh, Toby oh, he's driving me mad. I don't think I'm gonna have good enough light to be able to do the nail one um but I'm gonna have a play around and see so yeah you say oh no I look horrendous you look horrendous every time that you're on face look who it is it's losing like Lauren in a new flat very cute. We're just having a little flat tour. It's lovely. Yeah. And she's giving me some tips on what to film because I just I can't decide. Here you go. It's right here. <laughs> this is my video for this week, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> 
So, I just wanted to show you guys, I've literally just set it up. This is my brand new ring light from radiancering.com uh, and it's amazing. So basically this is a million times better. Toby, you always pick up your bones just as I start to talk. Um, <laughs> He's been driving me mad today, so you can sound a little strained. That's the reason why. Um, yeah, so uh, the one that I had before wasn't anywhere near as good as this. It was just off eBay. Um, so it's actually probably a blessing in disguise that Archie knocked it over. But this is the new one, and it's just absolutely incredible. And if I can just turn it down so you can see, it's got a section where you can attach a mirror. So I can do... Um, makeup tutorials and sit here and have my, that's the, there's a phone attachment as well which is awesome so you can take selfies with it um but yeah so it, it uh, <laughs> i'm really really pleased with it it's absolutely beautiful it's really really well made um and yeah so this is what i'm going to be using from now on to do my videos with so i'll leave all the information down below um i've got all of my um all of my equipment linked down there including like the lights behind me um my big uh studio lights there or my cameras everything is all linked down below so i'll switch out the links for this one uh, and if you're interested in purchasing one i'm definitely definitely recommend this it that is just so handy it's really clever and you can take the phone thing off and use that as a tripod as well just have your normal camera on there so i have a, uh, a separate tripod to put my slr on um but if you didn't you can literally have this all in one and it's 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 all it's all in one it's really clever and it's got a little um a little desk stand as well so if you didn't want the full tripod you can just have it that will that will just sort of sit about there and sit on your desk it's bloody brilliant um i'm very impressed with the purchase right i'm up out for dinner uh, i've changed my skirt i've gone for this one which i cannot remember for the life of me where i got it from but it's really really pretty and this is a faux fur um fake kind of like collar thing to go around your coat which i haven't got on yet and this is from new look but ages ago uh and the lipstick i'm wearing is pixie pixie beauty it's one of the matte ones called evening rose um so yeah not sure how much i'm gonna film tonight um but yeah i'm going into birmingham i'm gonna go to gusto which i've never been to before but it's meant to be really good and i'm gonna have steak just in case oh toby's he's got his little cone on bless him but he's Drive me mad. Morning everyone, happy Saturday. I have no food in the house, but literally, this is the inside of my fridge. Are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> I've got no food in the house, so um, I haven't even got any bread. Like, I, I was eating frozen bread out of the freezer and I've finished all that. So uh, I'm gonna have to do some food shopping later, but I really can't be bothered to go now. So I'm gonna hop over the road and get some pastries, I think, from the shop and have a coffee and sit and eat a pastry, but it is like, sleeting outside the weather's horrible but i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna go out into the arctic and just have a lazy saturday morning um i had a bit of a lion which was really helpful because i've been sleeping very well so it's, yeah it's just nice to just sort of not set an alarm and just chill even though i had toby alarm at like half eight as always um but yeah just sort of chill out with him and cuddle with him in bed and I'm going to have a nice little breakfast and then I think I'm going to crack on with some work today um, just because I feel a little bit inspired. Odd, I know it's a weekend, I need to stop doing this but I just feel quite inspired so I might film something or edit something. Uh, and then crack on with my being social day. I'm going for drinks later, but again, don't really fancy going outside because the world is horrid. Uh, and then a friend's coming around later. I'm gonna watch films and eat pizza. So yeah, I've got a pretty good Saturday ahead of me. Nice and lazy, um, but also quite food orientated. So I'm happy. Oh, my food last night. Oh my goodness, we went to Gusto and it was amazing. I had mussels and then a fillet steak and then a disarodo affogato, which is my new favorite dessert. Loved it. Absolutely. Absolutely loved it very much highly rated so uh, yeah my battery's flashing at me so I'm gonna put this on charge and enjoy my pastry <laughs> My dog is a maniac because he hasn't had a proper walk in days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody help. I'm sorry, Poppet. <laughs> he also does not like the cone of shame. I'm sorry, Poppet. We'll go on a lead walk again later. No, it's not the same as running around in a field, I know. 
Oh, bless him. Anyway, I'm going out for a quick beer because I've been in all day and I'm like, I need to get out of the house and talk to a human. So I'm gonna go meet my friend John and go for a beer in town and then come back and walk him because he's had like, he has to have like three lead walks a day in um, comparison to normally like he'll have one big off lead run around and he's absolutely fine. He just doesn't get, he doesn't burn off the energy as much as he needs to. Never mind, won't be much longer. He hates me. <laughs> I've made friends with the uh, with the pup dog. <laughs> but uh, seems to be having a great time on my leg. Sorry, puppy, you can't help me, but thank you for that. You need to buy me a drink first, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely made a new best friend. Should we swap you for Toby? <laughs> You're fluffier. Yes, <laughs> Hello team, happy Sunday. Uh, so today I am off to my friend Matt's house and we are gonna go for a dog walk. However, it's super snowy, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do or where. And Toby still can't go off lead, so I've got his little coat that is so, so cute, his little parka, because it's very cold and he can trot along on the lead, even though he's gonna be very jealous because Mario will be like pelting around. Um, and then I'm cooking a masaka because every time Matt comes around, he always cooks for me, so it's my turn now. Uh, and I kind of thought, I found a recipe for James Martin's masaka ages ago, and it sounded pretty easy slash really tasty, and I've never actually made one before. Uh, I'm a cottage pie girl normally. So I thought, yeah, we'll give this a go. So that is pretty much my Sunday, and apart from that, it's gonna be in front of the fire because it is freezing, so, so cold. Hope you're all having a lovely week. I'm very excited for next week, actually got lots of stuff going on got a, a couple of bumble events um actually so yeah i've got a couple of bumble events one of them is on friday the 26th uh, and it is at cherry reds in Birmingham which is a little cute little cafe and we are doing a bloggers co-working session and a panel uh, an open Q&A panel with yours truly uh, on how to take your blog from hobby to full-time uh, so that's in the morning I have a couple of spaces left for that one so if you want one um, please leave me a comment down below and let me know and the other one is a group dog walk so if you are free on saturday saturday the 27th yeah um come on down to Wally woods in birmingham and i'm gonna be there with a load of people who want to join whether you have a dog or not uh, you can come and have a little dog walk with us and have some doggy cuddles so we're doing that at half past 10 so if you're free and you would like to come along uh, you are more than welcome more than merrier for that one so yeah just pop along to Wally woods be in the car park around half past 10 uh bring your dog if you've got one if not just bring yourself dress weather appropriate whether it's going to be like rainy or not hopefully it should be. it looks clear at the moment but you never know um and yeah so that's that's pretty much what i've got planned for next week and toby's vets checkup and possibly pub quiz again seems we won so we need to spend our 20 pound voucher <laughs> and i don't know what else oh lucy's birthday so it's lucy's birthday down it, it was but lucy's birthday in, in november but she had a really really busy time and she was just exhausted and didn't want to celebrate her birthday so we said we would do her a fake birthday in january so we're doing that on Sunday. So we'll be going, taking her for brunch, which will be really, really nice. Uh, and I can finally give her her birthday present. And yeah, it's just gonna be a lovely day. So next week is going to be a good week. I am excited. So come along for the ride, for sure. Uh, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. I might film a bit, a bit today. I might not do, I don't know. I just kind of, I'm in one of those moods where I'm just so chilled out this weekend. It's been lovely that I kind of just want to completely switch off from work. And I've got to figure out my e visa. Shit, I forgot my passport. Oh, uh, never mind. Um, yeah, I need to sort out my e visa for India, which is also very exciting and is going to be here before we know it. Toby's so cute. He's in the back, just like staring out the back window, watching all the snow. <laughs> He's like, I've been let out of the house for the first time in what feels like forever. <laughs> Little bobbit. You've got to have faith, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Lucy and her slow fingers. Oh, doesn't she scrub up well? <laughs> 